Okay, permutation. It's a fun one because we've already done some similar to this. We did uh, combination and all combinations. So basically what we're going to do is as an input, we're going to get a, a union and we're going to output a tuple that has all of the possible combinations of the things in that union. So uh, if you're if you're uh, anyone who's done something like this before, you should be saying like recursion bells should be ringing in your in your mind right now. Uh, let's look at the tests real quick. So if it's just one thing that qualifies, of course, uh, then we get a tuple back with that one thing. If we have three things, then here are all the different combinations, the the kind of uh, six ways to combine those three things. And uh, yeah, it, it's the same if you have them in a different order. That's what that's what uh, test C3 is showing. And if you give something like a Boolean, then we're also going to need to split that, which is very interesting. But we can come to that. Never is an empty set. So never is just going to return uh, empty tuple. All right. <laughs> Uh, right, it's yeah. a little, it's a little scary. I think this one, but how would you start off? Yeah. So any sort of uh, array manipulation. So I'm actually going to first start off with um, making a constraint. Uh, this is just it, it gives me like a little type variable for myself if we need to change that constraint later. Oh, actually, I'm seeing that we're looping through a union, which is actually very interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I don't, none of the, uh, I'll give you a hint, none of the, actually one of them does, but almost none of the examples have a, uh, have a generic constraint. Uh, don't, uh, generic constraint. Okay, that makes sense to me. Okay, so we're, the first thing I noticed that we're doing is we're looping the reunion, which itself is um, pretty difficult, actually. Um, you can, I may need a bit of uh, guidance on this. Yeah, one, yeah, so... My, First, my first instinct is to create a union to tuple method. Um, um, the 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 first thing I'll I'll comment is that we can we can skip out on we can like knock out some of the easy stuff first by do this is an is never check. Um, so is never was you didn't do it with me, but uh, is never is is a previous challenge that was in the TypeScript challenges, and this is the basically the solution to is never. So we can handle this case, which allows us, which is good because it refines the set of things that are available. And we were talking about this in the last challenge, but this is one of those that is definitely going to need uh, like an accumulator of some kind. We, we can default yeah. it to T, and then we can start looking at it here. Like we can say like accumulator extent. I guess we'd say extends T or something like that. And then here we're going to do some stuff and here we'll do some stuff. Okay. Yeah. What I'm still trying to think is how do we... Permutation is obviously complex. I'm trying to think... So accumulator is going to be the tuple, essentially. Yes. Um, so I would almost want to write a, a accumulator extends unknown just because I really like generics on the type parameters. But um, sure. So yeah, extends unknown. Tuple. I don't see why that wouldn't work. Um, or unknown tuple, I would say. Uh, uh, okay. Just to really clarify that this is like a tuple. Mm, but then we needed a constraint on t. Uh, well, yeah, a constraint on t, but t is going to be a union. So that's yeah. I'm going back and forth. This is interesting. Okay. Um, extends unknown in this case is not let's, needed. Let's leave it off in, until, let's leave it off for a second. Yeah. I, I mean, I also, like, usually the very first thing I do is make the generic constraints, but this yeah. one gets a little squirrely. So, like, one thing we know is that the, the recursion happens in here somewhere. Yeah, we're going to definitely have some invocation of permutation, and we know T isn't going to change. Um, so, I can, I can go ahead and make a... Maybe like an some sort of uh, accumulator, but we know so the thing is accumulator as specified is not a tuple, so we can't destructure it in that way. Yep. So it just it just has um, to be a regular value, a regular value, and then uh, we need some way to get the maybe the first union element. I'm I'm thinking something like. Um, I love yeah, hearing I, your thought process. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. basic. You're, you're very, very close. So we're going to exclude yeah, from yeah. T those things that are assignable to accumulator. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, see, okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, we can exclude from T the things that are assignable to accumulator. And then uh, essentially we'll do that. And this... Yeah, not. I was expecting. Quite do it. I know oh, we need oh uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I I led you astray here. Uh, this part is the problem. So we were really really close. 
Um, okay, Ack is extends Ack. The the hmm? is that a is does that make sense? Um, so I think we're saying we're gonna say, uh, and we don't need to put. So like the actual thing that we're sending to permutation is just is just the the actual exclusion. Let me see. I think I think I I think I messed you up, but let me let me like paste something in here. This was one of the okay. Uh, <laughs> this is what I'm referencing. It's very close. Uh, how is this? Okay. Oh, because we need to return. Okay, okay. So here's where we were. Okay. Yeah. So accumulator extends. Ex okay. So that would that would happen in the case that we're done permutating. That's yes. like the base case. Okay. Act extends. Act. I guess because. It's ACK won't, won't extend ACK because it'll be never once we're done because we've excluded everything. Never right. extends never, I believe, defaults to the falsy case. One of the confusing things about never. Could yes. be wrong. Yep, that's okay. it. Um, it's a right, wild yeah, ride. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one is kind of wild. Um, we can we yeah, can we switch. Can, I think we can switch to the T if we put an empty array here. Um, yeah, see that works. The problem was uh, in the beginning we had we had this in here. Oh yeah, which, this. Yeah. Yeah. For pure mutation, like this accumulator storage is just the, um, like we're kind of do, it's kind of like we're gonna do like iteration iteration one and then one point one and then one point one point one and then two and then two point two. Yep. You see, like classic recursion. That's the way that it iterates through. Um, so yeah, we can do, so those are both of the, okay. So let me, let me, let me, uh, put them up here. I also, I also made note, there's a superb explanation. I've been trying to do better in these challenges of calling out people who do good work on the YouTube, on the GitHub. Sometimes it's hard to credit a particular person with a particular solution because there are like 30 people who have the same exact solution. So I don't know like who came up with yeah. it, but this person has a, there's a, if you look at this issue, 614 has a great explanation. It's just erring because there are two things with the same name. But yeah, this is the, this is the one that we were kind of working towards. We sort of changed it towards this at the end to have never, but but they're very, very similar. And there's this other one here. I always like to find the nopes, um, ones that didn't work, but were close. And let's take a look. So this one is a little different because it's creating a map type and then indexing it. Um, it needs to allow the Boolean in the generic constraint. And that's that's not going to happen because property key is string or number or symbol. So uh, if you do that, though, then you get an error here because uh, mm -hmm. T is not assignable to string or number or symbol. And it needs to be to do this operation. So that last case, with our, or I guess it's C4, the second to last case, uh, keeps this one from passing. But this is otherwise a passing test. I mean, it works for C2 and C3 and C1. Uh, kind of an interesting approach, but close. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Any other thoughts? Uh, yeah, just the la the last one. This is where I would use again cast. I would uh, use that cast utility to uh, cast it in a way that can it, you can use the in operator. Ah, okay, cool. Um, yeah. How would you do? So that would be like. Uh, oh, yeah. So uh, yeah, type yeah. cast to of you. Yeah, you, you type it because I don't remember. I don't remember what oh, it is. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, this yeah. part back here. Always, yeah. You know, let's see if it works. Equals t extends u question mark. If so, t otherwise u, and mm -hmm. then we're basically casting it, and it says it actually says it. It's not. A, I'm not sure what's going on here. So maybe t this cannot is be used as an index type. So hmm. in type t, oh, it's saying this one actually is. Um, so you would need to almost cast this as a key of um, that, which I'm not sure about. Uh, yeah, let, actually, let, let me do this. Um, cool. Okay, yeah, I think this. So uh, errors yeah, are gone, but it still it still oh, doesn't work for the boolean. Erring, yeah. Yeah, the boolean is is a difficult it's, case to. to that's handle. a that's a super tricky to, one. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, this was a fun one. I feel like we made it. Uh, sorry for, <laughs> I'll get confused sometimes. Yeah, but is, Yeah, this one is rough, but it's fun. Cool.